Hello, hello to everybody. I'm Maurizio Caporali, I'm Chief Product Officer of uh, Seco Group. We are here with Cristina of Google and um, we are here to present the collaboration with Google Cloud and Seco with the CLIA platform with the integration of the CLIA stack inside the Google Cloud to manage the data ingestion from the edge device to the cloud and to arrive on top with all the Google services that we have the possibility to analyze data, to have all the information. Is Clear Stack a lot of software? Yes, the, we have all the tools for developers to start from the edge part, from a smart sensor, gateway and device, to integrate, to manage, thanks to the interface of uh, CLIA to manage all the, the data from sensor and to transport the data via QTT directly on the Google Cloud, where uh, the open source part of uh, CLIA that is based on a start and a jog can manage the device manager, can manage the data orchestration and create pipeline uh, data flow directly on the service of Google. What kind of service? Uh, will be is interesting on uh, the embedded uh, field. Exactly, so our uh, main focus is on data analytics, which where we have our um, uh, 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 products that we can offer there, and uh, with uh, data analysis, dashboarding, and Vertex AI, which is our end-to-end -end machine learning platform, where we can build uh, easily machine learning uh, also protocols like um, and applications for predictive maintenance, for anomaly detection and everything. Uh, so we are very happy to work together so that we can build this edge to cloud platform and we can com combine our expertise from the hardware, from the edge to the cloud, data analytics, machine learning and bring the, this on, on, on the embedded world. You're enabling kind of like the next level of embedded ecosystem, right? When yeah. you start to be smart about what you do, it's yeah. not just a bunch of devices that are not very smart. Yes, absolutely. Also, in for the AI part, uh, the other important aspect is the possibility to manage remotely the AI model and to transfer the model directly on the device. Another important aspect is the possibility for us uh, to help customers to define the right age device, the right solution in the sense of uh, Cheap uh, that can integrate uh, also the possibility to manage uh, the inference on the edge respect to the cloud, and then distribute the data, the data analysis uh, from the edge to the cloud. This is very important for us. How difficult is it for uh, a company or somebody who wants to deploy something into this ecosystem? There's all kinds of ways for them to. I think that's exactly why we are working together to make it easy, to make it uh, out of the box, to have a platform from the edge to the cloud that is um, uh, tightly integrated so all the products can work together and we can very easily start from the proof of concept and scale into production. For give you an example, the developer can start uh, with Python SDK to create uh, all the interface and to manage all the data from uh, the machine, the complete machine with different sensor, for example, in one day, and they have all the data on the cloud, on the Google Cloud, thanks to the CLIA platform. And here, the embedded world at your booth, you're showing a lot of hardware that yes, support this? absolutely, absolutely. Yeah? Let's go to see Let's some check it interesting out. guests. Okay, thanks a, thanks a lot. I follow you. Okay, for first, um, uh, I can introduce uh, the main uh, solution for uh, this year. Okay, let's walk, let's walk right okay. here. So what do you show here? Okay. We are a gold, gold partner for uh, NXP and we have the last solution uh, is the Series 9 of uh, EMX6 uh, is the MX6 uh, 93 with uh, the Inside we have a, a quad-core ARM processor plus the machine learning accelerator. As I mentioned, the importance to have the possibility to manage uh, on top of this device the inference and the AI algorithm. On the other end, we have the collaboration. This MediaTek has built-in baseband, broadband? Yeah, this is based on 
600 uh, solution of MediaTek is very flexible, very efficient from power point of view. This is the base, uh, our solution is the base for HMI solution. Starting from uh, this smart model, uh, we are going to, def to present a set of uh, HMI that arrive uh, to 27 uh, 4K HMI. Uh, solution of Callisto is uh, the last common press solution based on 13 generation Intelco. So then I will show you directly everything. Everything. Uh, I will show you directly on uh, the um, the wall uh, all the products. Let's start uh, with the model, the computer model that are our core products. We are a uh, uh, partner of uh, different consortium for standardization. We start from Q7 solution to go to Smart, Com Express, Com HPC. We have a complete set of solutions that uh, spread in uh, starting from a low consumption solution, very flexible, Q7 module, full Q7, and uh, the uh, Nano Q7 with uh, NSP Intel uh, solution, as you can see, also one of the last series of uh, MXP Mini Nano, the MX68M, the MX68. There's all different kinds of form factors here. Yeah, yeah, because Q7 standard can permit to have uh, a solution that is the full solution and the Q7 Mini that is this one. Uh, on the other end, uh, smart module, uh, we have a uh, uh, different kind of solution. Uh, we have a last generation of uh, low consumption atom uh, series of processor, uh, that is, uh, in this case, Alder Lake N. We have uh, the uh, EMX69, I have, uh, have shown before, uh, in the wall. Uh, this is a solution very interesting also for industrial application, Alder Lake, uh, very flexible on uh, processor side, uh, we start with different kind of processor with uh, um, industrial uh, uh, industrial solution, uh, with also the compatibility and the possibility to enable the certification of functional safety. This is very important for industrial application. This solution, this mark, uh, is ready for the certification of functional safety of the industrial machine. That help a lot. Uh, the OEMs on this way, and very flexible on the choice of different kind of pushes. Levi MX X8 Plus. This is interesting because also in this case you have the possibility to use NPU that is integrated on this processor. Is 2.4 teraflops NPU. Very interesting from this point of view. And then all the series eight of. Uh, NXP. We have also some products that are very small in form factor. Modular solution is uh, internal standard, uh, Mayon and Tripeds, very flexible for a small, fa small form factor of battery application uh, and solution. Comespress, as you can see, starting from this uh, solution, Callisto, Raptor Lake P of Intel, uh, 13 generation Intel Core. Uh, very powerful, very flexible, industrial grade, very impressive solution on this way. What kind of customers use the Intel compared to choosing NXP? Uh, uh, one market? of the main differences for NXP, you have uh, the low consumption solution, very small also in form factor, you have a uh, uh, the MX, uh, MX8M uh, Mini and Nano, very simple on GPU, on uh, uh, power consumption. For Intel, uh, you are uh, no step, uh, one step up uh, regarding uh, the, the power of the solution. We, have, uh, we start from medium uh, to arrive uh, on uh, top uh, solution uh, like Xeon, like Cori. This is the main difference, it depends on what kind of application for uh, 
low power, low consumption solution, and since P is the right to solution, then when you want to scale up with uh, uh, power uh, intensive application, uh, you go in uh, the Intel solution. Are they all fully stable, fully supported? Absolutely. Or there's uh, some parts that are much more mass market and have different kind of support than other parts? More in general, all this solution is very supported for industrial application. Uh, starting from uh, the NXP, we have a solid BSP. All based, all NXP and Intel are all based on Yocto OS. And uh, we have defined also on top of the standard Yacht OS uh, our solution that is based, uh, that the name uh, internally is uh, Jog OS, uh, that give also a set of tools uh, for developers uh, to implement uh, the IoT industrial IoT application, as I have explained before. Then a set of tools that give you the opportunity to. Uh, up, manage the OTA updates, uh, updates in a secure way your uh, OS uh, and your system, also in the kernel side, uh, driver, etc. And on top of this, also the possibility to update application, uh, containerized application inside uh, the OS. Then full uh, support on this way, also full support for Intel on the BIOS side. The possibility to configure a dedicated BIOS for a customer is possible. Nice. And where are, you, where are your guys working on this? Uh, are they in Italy or uh, around the world? You have uh, software teams. We have uh, uh, nine. Uh, uh, we have nine R and D team all around the world. The core team are located for R and D in Italy. We have uh, two teams. One is a more. Uh, uh, dedicated for uh, embedded electronics, uh, and uh, another one is based for uh, uh, the software application. On the other end, we have uh, 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 two strong R&D team in Germany, one in Hamburg and one in Wuppert. Nice. And uh, going ahead for a more complete solution, single board computer, in this case, uh, Rockchip uh, is another chip vendor for uh, so which one is the Rockchip? The Sailor is RK3568. There's many things happening uh, on the board here, and this is also a Rockchip? This is a Rockchip, uh, the PX30, is an interesting solution, very flexible also on uh, power consumption, uh, with good uh, uh, power performance. Uh, this is more powerful, and this is the, most the last one. Uh, you have is a the big, uh, what do you and, call this? And uh, this is an upgrade, uh, very, very important and very interesting. This is the Accelera Modular AI chip uh, that can give to this device uh, more uh, than 100, 100 tops uh, for uh, AI inference. That can permit uh, something very Interesting from That's a lot a compared to the other analysis. stuff. Yeah, impressive. Big bump, big jump. Yes, to give you an idea, we can manage uh, uh, 16 uh, video flow directly, for example, co uh, with YOLO 4. This device with this accelerator integrate can give you the opportunity to manage 8 uh, to 60, the uh, 2 from uh, 16. Uh, um, video flow in real time uh, with YOLO. It's very impressive. It's completely a change of view for this kind of uh, this uh, and the AI, device. The NPU is accessed in the software very yeah. efficiently right now? There's a lot no. of things you can do with it? Or is we it are the beginning? It's the beginning. We are working uh, together with Accelera, our partner, to define uh, the right SDK with all the functionality and all the simplicity to deploy in a fast way all the solution and give to the developer a simple way to, to manage this. And we are uh, in a, a good situation. Uh, we will release uh, soon the, the solution. And all this, what does it mean, Accelera? 
Accelera is the company the base of, uh, that produces uh, the chip, is a European company, this is another important aspect. They produce uh, entirely in Europe uh, the chip. They produce the rock chip? The, the chip, the chip, uh, or AI chip. This is uh, ah, dedicated part. to AI, is a uh, AI chip. Uh, on uh, the SOC. And uh, on the SOC. So they design it. They design and they produce. No, 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 no. There are. This is Accelera. It's only Accelera. All right. The, in this case, is a is a kit. Is a AI kit that is based in this case of Rockship. Here, we can see the Phoenix uh, solution. That is our uh, of the shelf uh, solution. That in this case uh, is the kit uh, Phoenix uh, AI Vision Gateway because um, have integrated the Accelera chip uh, as M2 modules inside. As the same way of the single board rock chip, in this case you have uh, 11 generation Intel Core E, you can choose from a cell, starting from Celeron to arrive to i7. All right. Then it's very flexible this form factor of M2 because it's possible to integrate where the customer need more power, very, very more power of uh, elaborating ah, so a computer. so something that goes on top. Yeah. You can see is standard M2 connector. Yeah. All right. Just plug and compile with the SDK of Accelera the model, the AI model, for, for example, YOLO, and you have uh, uh, the solution ready that perform uh, in an uh, in incredible way, also for the consumption point of view, because we arrive from 6 to 10 uh, watts for, uh, for consumption. That's why we see it on top of the chip here, yeah. this extra board that, that connects and adds yeah. to the board. Then the customer can choose uh, I, I need some application, I need more powerful, I need to manage eight cameras, 16 cameras. I just put this uh, accelerator on top uh, using the standard connector and I have all the performance that I need. Nice. CPU, GPU of the main processor is free. It's completely free for other kind of application. All the processing of the cameras, of the AI models, we can manage not only one model, Two, three models, five models with this chip. Is a also the rock chip is also very capable of doing yeah. a bunch of AI yeah. and also if you need more and you do all that at the same time. Yeah, if you need more, you add this and you are okay. Is the Accelera ARM based, or is it a DSP that accelerates uh, something specific? I, I I don't know the specific aspect of Accelera, but it is a specific chip dedicated to manage the inference not is not uh, arm based is dedicated on this uh, for this dedicated. kind of application compatible with arm x86 yeah, anything absolutely all right the last part of the product we are very strong on uh, system uh, hmi solution complete hmi for different kind of application we have a different kind uh, of solution uh, size uh, and uh, <coughs> based uh, on uh, this case uh, on NXP MX8 uh, 8M Mini family, you can see the two version for uh, the FlexiVision. Uh, you have the flexibility to use also x86 uh, and uh, also ARM based uh, on uh, Rockship. This is the 33.99 for this kind of solution. Then you can use Android, Windows, Linux. You work with a company to make the perfect display no. touch and everything? Or do you make we, it? We make it. You make we everything. Have, we have a company that for uh, the touch display and the LCD. And we have a, uh, a production line in Arezzo dedicated on system integration. Then all the integration and all the system are uh, in uh, Europe, are uh, uh, producing Europe. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No? No made in China? No. No. All in Europe? Yeah. In Italy? Yeah. Maybe. In Italy and Germany, we have the 
main uh, production line is in Italy and Germany. In Germany we have two production lines, in Italy we have other two production lines. One is based on uh, uh, electronics uh, uh, solution and uh, the other one on system integration of the part of, of the system. A lot of other stuff is showing here, the booth, huh? In the booth, uh, here we have the fine uh, four main uh, uh, vertical market uh, for uh, industrial solution. We operate on uh, healthcare, uh, we produce uh, uh, many solutions dedicated to this market, also with uh, solution certificate for uh, this market. On top of our solution, uh, we use CLIA uh, for our customer to create uh, application, uh, to create uh, uh, final application, vertical application that is developed on top of CLIA. Uh, what is this CLIA? Is that what you talk about? Is what I talk about also uh, is the part of the Google collaboration is a, a yeah. solution for developer that give the opportunity, the possibility to implement in a fast way IoT application. We give a SDK to connect the device to transfer the data from the edge to the cloud in a simple way and. We give all the tools also to develop uh, application on top, front-end application directly uh, using CLIA, that is the core platform, the base platform to manage this. Then uh, the customer is very fast uh, to develop a specific application, specific vertical, and we offer all tools. CLIA is uh, hardware agnostic, then it's not important to have uh, our hardware. You have uh, all the SDK for uh, different kind of solution, ARM x86, Linux, Android, uh, ASP32. The developer directly pro um, use this SDK to connect the device uh, to send the data to the cloud. Then it's very flexible in this way and also is cloud agnostic. You can use uh, the cloud of uh, our partner Google or our partner uh, uh, Microsoft Azure. Uh, it's not a problem, uh, the CLIA packages is also possible to have a uh, platform as a service, is containerized, uh, can be deployed immediately on the cloud uh, of the customer. Also in, uh, uh, directly on the server of the customer if they want it on uh, on-premise solution, for example. What, is, what are you showing right here? Here is an application of, uh, an example of application of our customers that uh, in this case uh, is testing a uh, um, solution for uh, security reason uh, for uh, uh, hospital where uh, there are a patient, there are uh, lie down on the bed uh, and need uh, to be alert when uh, try to get up. And in this case uh, we use uh, on the on the edge device an application that is an AI application based on computer vision that is deployed using CLIA that manage the alert and send the data to the front end. Here the customer has developed a front end application related on the specific need where uh, have uh, the information about the room, uh, the status, uh, the all uh, the room information, uh, and the alert uh, directly on the uh, mobile devices. Is this uh, one of the latest? This is one solution. Uh, is not the latest, but is one of the uh, main solution that we have. Uh, that is based uh, on uh, Intel chip Atom. The Atom have uh, very good potentiality, as you can see there, uh, from uh, point of view of video analysis. We arrive uh, at uh, 13 FPS uh, with uh, no problem for this kind of application. This AI model is performed on GPU, on the Intel GPU that is optimized through OpenVINO. We use OpenVINO to deploy this application uh, to optimize this application on the device. Nice. There's many cool demos at the show, at the at the booth here, right? Let's go to the industrial solution. Very interesting solution. Here, SIW is oh, let me take it like this. Yep. our customers. In this case, uh, this solution is based on uh, the solution you have seen, the alley is the smart solution based on 
uh, functional safety. This solution is dedicated to functional safety in the sense that we have the possibility to analyze the status of the device and to see it if all it's okay automatically the system can detect the person that are in in front of the the system and can perform a stop of the the solution i, I will show you Now is enabled the functional safety solution. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. when you have second, 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 second. Yeah. is very similar aspect uh, is uh, based also in the alley solution uh, that is a radar from uh, inspect uh, they produce this kind of radar at the same time for uh, security reason of, of industrial machinery that move uh, in a physical space uh, they can detect uh, critical aspect uh, immediately and this is thank, uh, thanks to the functional safety enabled certification uh, uh, the inspect have the possibility to develop uh, a solution uh, immediately ready for this market. This is all the data that are coming from uh, this industrial machine uh, can be managed directly with CLIA. In this case, CLIA is installed directly on the plant on this server. This is, uh, in this case, a gateway, uh, our gateway. All the server CLIA platform is here. All the raw data is sent directly here manager from a point of view of uh, quality of the production we have the possibility to analyze directly the quality of production production daily production daily consumption per place and uh, we can also manage energy status uh, energy efficiency with the CLIA platform that manages the different kind of product what's running here here is a product of Kamozzi. This is based on our HMI, FlexiVision. This is the real-time solution. In this case, this arm manages the weight, measuring the weight when he takes the, the pieces, and can manage also force control. We take this part and can manage this force control. All the data are visualized by the uh, application of Kamozzi. The application uh, is managed from uh, the level point of view by CLIA to update the application uh, to see the status of uh, the HMI and all the data, the analyzed data, are sent to the CLIA servers for the integration IoT solution integrator. So SECO is uh, in energy, all these is huge Industries, we right? Work, uh, in many, Potentially. We work in many industries. Obviously, we produce uh, solutions that are very flexible on this way. We are uh, uh, very strong to define uh, the right solution for uh, our customer that could be in different market, uh, and we help uh, the customers to find the right solution in sense of uh, potentiality, electronics power, uh, electronic flexibility, and uh, software, uh, embedded software, uh, and all uh, the solution to arrive uh, to transport the data to the edge, to the cloud. And here you have a whole meeting area with yeah. all your potential customers all talking here. The other here. part, uh, yes. The demos here. Because it's a busy show. It's a busy show. It's a show more related on this aspect to have the possibility to meet here all uh, the partners, all the customers, uh, to meet uh, new customers, uh, to have a meeting to discuss about technology, to discuss about the possibility of the market innovation, etc. All right, cool. Was there more you wanted uh, to show, the coffee machines? I will show you only the new, the, the last demo.
This is a kit dedicated on a fast charger solution. We have a solution modular that is based on smart devices with carrier board with the possibility to configure a different kind of LCD. This is 32 inches LCD plus a touch display 10 inch plus uh, our payment system. He, here is only a demo, a complete demo to show the possibility of this solution. This demo is done uh, together with uh, Imagen, uh, they produce the inverter. It's very cutting edge technology of inverter. It's based on uh, Intel FPGA to optimize uh, uh, the production of energy, the, the transforming of uh, the energy. Uh, in this case, uh, Imagen arrive actually at uh, uh, 200 kilowatts uh, for uh, the inverter with a very, very most, uh, small, um, small dimension. This is very impressive uh, if you can see other inverter uh, that arrive uh, at uh, 100, 150 are very big and large because they need dissipation. Here, the energy production is very optimized uh, thanks to this solution, and we don't need too much dissipation for this. Cool. That's awesome. All right. So thanks a lot for showing You're everything welcome. here the Embedded World 2023, and people can just contact you. Absolutely. The future. Thank you. Thank you so much.